Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and in this video we're checking out this eBay listing that I found, which I'm pretty skeptical about, but I'm gonna try anyways. Basically here you guys can see that this seller appears to be selling basically his collection of Ninjago minifigures. I mean, there's a ton of different figures in here. There's even a Fang Tom, one of the Serpentine Generals. I believe Pythor's up here as well. There he is. Some Golden Ninja, and just overall there's some like Ninjago movie, some skeletons even. There's basically every single season I believe is pretty much represented here except for you know like season 9 I don't think there were any in there but anyways basically what this guy is doing is he's selling each minifigure for four dollars but there's a catch it's actually a randomly selected one and so you could get any of them from this pile and so whenever I see listings like this I'm always very skeptical about them because why would they give you let's say a Pythor minifigure when instead they could give you a ZX you know Zane minifigure which definitely is not as valuable and they probably have a lot more of or like maybe one of the skeletons and so I'm really interested to see what this guy puts in our package if we buy let's say instead of one let's buy five I think that's a pretty good number to give us an overall idea of what type of minifigures you'll receive in these sort of orders once again though it's very important to make sure you're ordering from a credible source this guy almost has 100 percent positive feedback almost 2500 reviews definitely a good one to order from just look at all these different images here of the different minifigures that we may be getting in this package but anyways as we order five here you guys can see this image here this one kind of sticks out to me over on the right i believe this is the only one that's not actually a ninjago minifigure that one is from season one or series one i should say of collectible minifigures that'll be fun if we get that one but anyways we're gonna order five of them here and see exactly what we get will we get some ones that are actually kind of valuable or will we just get a bunch of junk i don't know nonetheless $4 for a minifigure isn't even that bad, so let's go ahead and do it. But what's cool is that you and I will never need to pay full price anymore thanks to today's sponsor. The Swag Button is a Chrome extension edition of the popular rewards program called Swag Bucks. This Chrome extension makes it very easy to get cash back on practically every purchase you make online. You can earn up to 20% cash back rewards on thousands of websites including eBay, Walmart, and even Lego.com. Yes, the official LEGO website. The swag button extension is perfect for all LEGO fans to save money on their online LEGO purchases. It's ridiculously easy to use, helps you find the best coupon codes, and ensures that you are always paying the lowest price possible on purchases. You can install this extension and sign up for absolutely free in only a few clicks. And best of all, for viewers of my channel, you can get $10 for simply signing up and using the swag button on any purchase. If you want to save money on LEGO sets, click the link in the description down below to sign up for free today. Thank you Prodigy for sponsoring this video and now let's go ahead and teleport a few days into the future to when our minifigures arrive. Which ones will we get? Well, let's see. Alrighty guys, it's been about five days since I ordered this package and our mystery package of minifigures has finally arrived. There should be five of them in here. Keep in mind though that the $4 price point for each minifigure that we paid isn't even that bad. It's actually quite a decent price point for a Ninjago figure, even some of the generic ones. Let's just hope we stay away from the Lego Ninjago movie minifigures as those are definitely not worth a lot of money and are pretty recent. And also let's stay away from the ZX minifigures, although there may be a ZX Ninja in here I'm feeling since in the pictures of the product there showed to be a lot of them but without further ado let's go ahead open these up and see what minifigures this guy has included in our order here hopefully since we bought five he was generous and gave us some good ones but we'll take them out one by one here and see exactly what we have Alright, so I just felt that all the minifigures are in the exact same baggie inside this package, and so I took that quick cut there just so I could very, very carefully without peeking, because I want this to be a surprise for myself as well, open up the baggie so we can see one by one what we got. So I believe I can just reach in here and grab each one. The first one appears to be a J minifigure. It is Techno J. Right from the start here, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the inclusion of this rebooted minifigure. This minifigure is back from 2013, came in one set, which was the Thunder Raider, and I actually just checked Bricklink, and this guy goes for around $5, and so it actually was a fair valuation of the minifigure. Very, very cool to get these, this sort of minifigure uh, in this sort of blind bag package here. So there, here's our first one. I think this is a success, but let's see what else we get in this package. Of course, we've got a few more in here, so let's go ahead and reach in, feel, and get the next one. It appears, wow, okay, so we have an original 
Zane minifigure. That's crazy. All right, so it's not exactly in pristine condition, but it did say that they are used since it is someone's collection. But the fact that we just got an original Zane minifigure in here from 2011, that's very, very cool. I'm very excited about this one as well. I've already got a few of these because since I collected Ninjago basically every single set from 2011, 2012, uh, but definitely a great minifigure to have. Definitely awesome to have some original ninja variants. Very excited about this one as well. So two for two. I think these are some really, really nice pickups here. Let's see if the last three in here are just as good. All right, so let's reach in the baggie once again and pull out someone else. And look at that. All right, so we have our very first villain. Granted, this minifigure from the Possession season of Ninjago in 2016 is not necessarily that exclusive. I believe this minifigure is called maybe Spider or something along those lines. Came in around three sets, I believe. I know the City of Sticks, the Final Flight of Destiny's Bounty, and perhaps one more, maybe like the Ronin Rex, perhaps. And so basically, I don't believe that this is worth $4, but still is a really cool minifigure to have. I love all the transparent and translucent elements on it, such as the legs, the wrap that goes over the head and the head itself. Very cool minifigure nonetheless. All right, so we've got two minifigures still left in this package, and so let's go ahead and grab those out and see exactly what type of minifigures the last two have in store. The first one out of these last two is another rebooted minifigure. This one, though, is Cole. What's interesting is that both Jay and this Cole minifigure came in basically the same set. They both came in the Thunder Raider back in the day, although this Cole minifigure probably isn't worth $4 as he did come in the smallest set out of the wave as well. And so he was very, very common to have. However, I love getting the hair pieces for the ninja. That's always a great plus. And the torso printing on these rebooted ninja are always, you know, they look really nice. I do like these ninja minifigures. And to be honest, this is so far really, really good that we've gotten these three and then this minifigure here. I'm happy with it. So let's go ahead and move on to the very last minifigure and see exactly what goes on here. All right, so what are your guys' guesses? You think we're going to have a villain in here or another ninja? So far, we've only had one villain. Let's see what our last minifigure is. It's another ninja. It is a Kai, so at least it's a different ninja. This one from Tournament of Elements. This is the main ninja minifigure of Kai from the Tournament of Elements season. I'm not exactly sure how rare this guy is, but I'll be right back and tell you guys a little bit more information. Alright, so it turns out that this minifigure only came in two sets back in the day, one of which is the Anachondrite Crusher, and the other one being the Ninja DBX. And to be honest, I really like how this minifigure looks. The printing on all the Tournament of Elements Ninja are really nice, as well as the printing up here on the head wrap. Now, what's interesting is that this is actually the most valuable minifigure out of all of them that we got. This guy goes for around seven to eight US dollars, which to be honest was a surprise to me whenever I looked at Bricklink the past six months, that's the average selling price. So that's pretty crazy actually. I didn't realize this was worth so much money, this minifigure here. So that's great. I mean, to be honest, I think with all five of these minifigures, we pretty much got a very accurate valuation to how much we paid. So that's a very, very good sign. Ultimately, at the end of the day, was this purchase worth it? Well, number one, consider the fact that you're kind of buying the experience of getting mystery minifigures, and a lot of the fun is opening this package and seeing exactly what you're going to get. As far as the minifigures that I personally got, it ended up being pretty accurate to the price that I bought them for. So, of course, $4 each. I have five of them here. I paid $20. US dollars. There was a bit for shipping. That was about $3, so let's just say $23, but I guess you could disregard shipping if you so want. Let's rank them here though. We have the most valuable being the Tournament of Elements Kai around 7 US dollars. Next up the original Zane was around 6 US dollars. That's what he goes for around now. And we also have the Techno J around 4. We have the Techno Cole around $3. And then we have the Possession Ghost only around 2 US dollars right now. But if you combine all those, that's 22. And so that's pretty much 
about how much I paid for this order. And so overall, do I think this was a good purchase? Yes, and it was also very fun to see what I got. Now, do I think that other Ninjago fans should buy these packs? Well, it really depends on where you are as a collector. If you're brand new to Ninjago, don't have many of the old Ninjago minifigures, and really are just one to start your collection, these are a great, fun way to get new minifigures. Just remember that you're not guaranteed any of them, just the certain amount that you order, and so you may get a minifigure you already have, and that's why if you already have a lot of Ninjago minifigures, you should instead just save your money and purchase the minifigures figures that you really really want to add to your collection instead of going in randomly here and getting five different minifigures and perhaps you already have all of them. If you did enjoy this video be sure to let me know with a like rating down below. Also check out the swag button in order to claim your $10 bonus and you guys can use it on buying some different minifigures. You guys can see all the official details down below in the description. Try it out it's completely free and you can download it in just a few clicks onto your web browser. That's going to wrap it up here for this video. I'm Spipperix. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.